Hello everyone, welcome to the ModX Monday screencast. My name is Sal Baldovinos with Pop Labs. Hope you guys had a great weekend and thank you for joining us once again. Uh, this week we're going to be covering the manager interface and how to create, edit, and delete pages. Uh, if you guys are interested in finding out more about Pop Labs, you can check us out at poplabs.com or subscribe to our blog at blog.poplabs.com. ModX has recently released their newest version of Evolution, which is 1.0, and recently, uh, as of last week, went to 1.0.2. So if you're interested in uh, downloading that and uh, updating your installation, you can go over to modxcms.com. Last week, Jay Gilmore pointed out that we are currently using version 0.9.6.3 uh, for our web series, which we're going to go ahead and stick with because we have customized this particular installation uh, for our own internal purposes. And we are in the process of customizing the 1.0. Uh, installation of evolution um, but kind of the the basic differences between what we're using and what you'll be seeing in the newer versions is a color difference so this is actually 1.0 uh, that we have installed uh, there's a color scheme differences as you'll notice and they've renamed resources to elements uh, but for the purposes of these uh, particular screencasts we're going to stick with 9.6 uh, and then as we move forward we will be going with 1.0 but again, really the only subtle differences are the color differences and they've renamed resources to elements. Uh, what are resources and elements? This is where you're going to be spending most of your time uh, managing these particular areas. You'll be managing your templates, template variables, chunks, and snippets, which we will be covering in later screencasts. Uh, I see a lot of people have already asked for that, so we will be getting to those as quickly as possible. <clears throat> Today we're going to be covering how to create, edit, and delete pages in ModX. Here on the left hand side you'll notice our document tree which gives us the pages that are in our ModX uh, installation or our ModX website. Uh, today we're going to be creating a new page. So there's a few different ways that you can get to that particular uh, feature. If you're wanting to create a new document or a new page you can go to the site tab and look right here it's the second to last tab which is new document that will get you to this screen which will allow you to create and edit a document. You'll see a series of different uh, fields that you can fill out and we'll cancel that for right now and I'll show you two different ways that you can get to that. There's also a little, a little folder icon if you hover over it it uh, gives you some alternate text that tells you that is a new document so you click on that and you get the exact same screen and you'll be creating a new page. The other way that you can do that is by uh, clicking on a particular uh, node or a particular page document right here and scroll down you see a series of different uh, tabs right here you can edit the document move the document duplicate it and you can create a new document here what that means is that you'll be creating a sub page for that particular document so if, uh, if you're doing a products page you would do that here and create a new document uh, below that and create children pages so we're going to create this new page and we're going to give it a title and depending on how you have your templates set up um, these different fields will have different meanings to you so the title is usually going to be where your title bar will appear the long title again based on how you set up your templates will be your h1 tag description will be your meta description and the document alias is the page slug so you can give that about or about us the menu title is the actual menu title that will show up in Wayfinder if you're using Wayfinder to produce your navigation down here is the document content which has a template variable of content and again based on how you set up your uh, templates that will have a different meaning to you so we will be using HTML in here and this is my about page excuse me so you click right here and you can save it or you have uh, further edits to make you can hit continue editing you can close it out or you can add another so if you're going to be doing a series of pages you can do that so we're going to hit continue and it's saved and what it's done is created a, a new page called about now if we wanted to edit that we can stay in the screen and just continue editing what we're doing or we can click here edit document if we wanted to delete we would just simply delete hit right there and it's gone 